Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here to show you the boom pole. This is our medium duty, the lower cost of the, of the few that we sell. Comes, we sell two different brands. We sell the Fred Kane brand. It's about $20 higher than the Lineback brand. They're both pretty similar. The Fred Kane will have a little better paint on it, maybe. But um, this, this is great for picking up uh, just about anything, loading equipment, unloading, moving things around. For no more than it costs, you'll find yourself using it more than you think. If you're lifting something really heavy, you can get a little closer to the tractor with this. This disc is probably in the five, six hundred pound range, and with the tractor with the loader, it'll still pick it up in the end position, no problem. We're just going to pick this disc up, reposition it where we can hook it to our tractor easy. And what I recommend is, when you're getting your boom pole, if you're just going to be using it to pick things up and set it somewhere, you probably in most cases can get by with the cheaper one. The heavier duty one is about twice the price. It has square tubing, it has a lot more bracing on it, and both are rated for not a lot of weight lifting difference, but where this boom pole and the square boom pole uh, set themselves apart is, if you're going to be carrying it long distance with a heavy load and letting it swing, that's the worst enemy to a boom pole is the swinging weight. So, you know, if you're just going to be picking things up, I'd probably use the lighter weight one. If you know you're going to be doing a lot of driving with what you're picking up and the weight's going to be swinging, then you may want to consider the heavy duty unit even more. So we try to balance our loads close as we can to what we think's the center here. We're going to pick it up. We're just going to change the angle of it. It's a simple hookup. It's a standard three-point hookup. Uh, your three-point hitch, top link. Uh, you can change the angle of this a little if you're going to be lifting things higher or something like that. You can shorten your top link here. This is good for about 80% of what most people use a boom pole for. They don't need the heavier one, but if you, uh, you can always get the heavier one if you need it. So give it a whirl, Peanut. Pick it up and let's just kind of move this around. Now I got it pretty close to the center. That's good. Getting it balanced is important to make it safe hooking things up. All right, so I'm just gonna, that's good right there. We can hook up to this good. I always try to wrap whatever I'm doing, at least one wrap to keep it from sliding or shifting one way or the other. All right, pull. Raise her up and pull forward for Kevin. All right, that'll work. You know, back in my racing days, it seems like we had to change motors and transmissions almost every week. And uh, just so you, for those of you that do have to do that, there's, there's very easy to use this to change motors, transmissions out of a car. You know, you're simply just going to be picking it up. It's a lot of weight. But when you, especially when you leave the transmission together, but you can sure take one out easily if you've got a tractor. Beats having to buy a hoist or a chain fall or a, what's called a cherry picker. This is cheap. It can be used for just so many things around the house or the farm that everybody ought to have one.